Hello, everyone. As uh, promised, tonight we'll meditate with Shimata Ji. We'll have actually um, an excerpt from um, Shimata Ji's visit to Vancouver in 1990. So um, we hope that uh, the music, um, as well the images, had made you already to be prepared, to be relaxed. Let's make sure that we are ready to, to follow Shimata Ji. And we'll explain some of the images that we pre presented earlier after that. And then if you read, it has some meaning. Otherwise, we know, there are people who know everything about Sahaja Yoga, but they can't do anything about it. Still there are two persons now. Now these are the last two persons, all right? Now what's it, madam? When you are the drowning feelings, like the cost of When do you feel the throbbing feeling when the kundalini rises, when the pulsation is there? You see, actually, kundalini is in this jet, it has become like a jet kundalini. She just rises. She doesn't give you much throbbing or anything, normally, normally, I'm saying. But if you have some trouble, some diseases, something, some obstructions, then it does throb a little. But you can feel it nicely on your head, the cool breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area, very nicely you see, feel it. So it is um, the throbbing of the Kundalini and all that are just like some sort of an obstructions or say short circuiting but that can be corrected very easily. So it's uh, like a very nicely built, very efficiently built aeroplane, uh, has a very smooth landing like that, Kundalini rises very beautifully. And this is the blessing of the modern times, I think, that the Kundalini works out that way. That's one more. There was one gentleman. And the last uh, question, there was one yeah. No, no, another one, huh, that with the blue, huh? My Just, question uh, was that once you raise the Kundalini energy, um, if you're not able to control it, does it affect you? Uh, can it uh, maybe work from what I know, can destroy it? Is that true? The question is that once the Kundalini is awakened, he has read that the Kundalini can be in uncontrolled fashion. If you don't know how to control it, it can harm you. You see, these books are written by people who have no idea of Kundalini. <laughs> it's not like that. You see, this is just to sell something, you know, it's marketing. Sell anything, any nonsense. There's nothing. She's your mother, she's your individual mother who's waiting to give you your second birth. Why will she trouble you? When you got your birth, your mother looked after everything. She, poor thing, went through all the labor pains and everything. She didn't allow you to suffer anything. She never wanted you to suffer, did she? Then this is a pure mother, your own individual mother. She knows each and everything about you. It's all recorded in her. And she is not going to trouble you. And you are going to be controlled by her in such a manner that she becomes your energy. She helps you. So all these false ideas people have given, written books after books so that they can sell it. I haven't written any book so far. You'll be surprised, I've not written any book so far. Twenty years have passed, I've written no book for sir. People have written about me, people have written about Sir Yoga, they have written all this, but I have not yet written. I'll be writing, I hope so, I get some time to write. But you see, what is important is that whatever written can be all nonsense. They can write anything about anything. First of all, you should know what it is. And now I have been going to various places. I have not seen it misbehaving anywhere or doing any harm to anyone. Of course, sometimes you do feel little heat in the body. That's all. That's the thing. You feel little heat on your hands. That's all. But it's so little that it's negligible. So be confident. First of all, before starting, I have to tell you a few things and one of them is that have faith in yourself. Have faith 
that you all are capable of getting your Self-realization. Please have that faith in yourself. You have faith in everything else but in yourself, that's wrong. Please have faith in yourself, that is first point. Now there are two conditions we have to fulfill before we get a realization. First condition is, I've already told you, that not to feel guilty, forget the past. Not to feel guilty is very important, because when you feel guilty, then the center here on the left side catches, Vishuddhi as they call it, and it's the worst thing that can happen, because this is the center when it catches, you get spondylitis, you get angina, all kinds of trouble with this center. But the worst thing is that the Kundalini cannot rise above this center. <coughs> so not to feel guilty. I assure you that you have done nothing wrong. You see, there are so many norms a society has created. Even if you put the folk on the other side, you start thinking, Oh God, what did I do? You feel you are not sophisticated or you've done something like a murder. It's not that. It is just all these norms are artificially created, all these are artificial things. Somebody is very thin, he thinks, why should I be thin? Somebody is fat, he thinks, why should I be fat? But this is life's, uh, whatever is there, we have to accept our life as it is and there's nothing wrong in it, nothing guilt. Whatever is there, whatever where we have been doing, we have been doing as human beings. So first and foremost condition is absolutely, you cannot compromise on that, is that you are not to feel guilty at all. Immediately you'll feel better. All right, the second one is that you have to forgive everyone. Forgive everyone. Because whether you forgive or you don't forgive, you don't do anything. We are living with a myth. All the time thinking, oh, I have to forgive this person, I have to forgive that person. There's no need to think like that. You don't also have to think about any individual. Just in general you have to say, I forgive every one of them, and that clears out this center. Very clearly, this is the center of Christ, this clears out, and it's very easy for me because this is a very constricted, it's the gate to the limbic area, so that gate has to be widened and it has to be opened out. And so, just forgive everyone, and you know it is a myth. You are playing into the wrong hands. So this is another condition you have to just agree accept, then it's easier for me to work it out and easier for you to get it. So first is, just don't feel guilty. If you don't forgive, you won't feel it. Then you'll come and say, Mother, I didn't feel it, and then I will have to say, all right, forgive, 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 and then you feel it. So what's the use? Just better do what I've told you, it's a very simple thing, just forgive everyone in general. Then there are cert certain simple things that we have to take help of the Mother Earth. Now those who are sitting in the ground are the best placed, it's all right, they can just take out their shoes so that not, it's better that their feet are a little open out and all of you should have to take your feet. It helps a lot. Those who are sitting uh, should sit more cross-legged, it's better, uh, better to sit cross-legged. It hardly will take any time and uh, uh, is... Uh, you don't have to fight with your thoughts, don't have to stop any thoughts, nothing. It just works automatically. I would say, like your attention is like this, sorry. Now the Kundalini rises like this, goes up, and she pushes all your attention inside, automatically. And then when it pierces through here, then the grace starts falling on your attention, on your sympathetic nervous system, and it soothes down. Then your centers open more, and more threads of Kundalini rise. So this is what is today's modern Sahaja Yoga, which somehow or other I have managed to discover, that let few threads of Kundalini rise to begin with, so that you open your chakras gradually and then more and more 
and then one day I find you all have become great gurus, great personalities. So, may God bless you all. Let us now, with all respect to ourselves, with all love for ourselves, we have to have complete faith in ourselves, complete faith. Have complete self-confidence. Now, please put both your hands like this. It's important to understand that these five, six and seven are the sympathetic nervous system endings and this side also are, these are sympathetic nervous system endings and they are the ones who are uh, expressing the centers within ourselves. Like this, left and right meet and make one center. So it's very important that you, we have to put both the hands like this to begin with. You can, now somebody will show you how we are going to nourish our centers. The left side represents our desire, not the pure desire, but our desire. And the right side represents our action, power of action. So we'll be using our power of action to nourish our centers, while the left hand will be all the time towards myself. Before closing your eyes, uh, you can also take out your spectacles because this helps eyesight also. So, before, no, not now, just now when I tell to, because just now first we'll show you how to do it and then we'll close our eyes. So somebody will show you. First of all, you put your left hand towards me like this. Of course, those who don't want to do it should go because it is proper not to disturb others. You see, nobody should, uh, those who do not want to do, should try to do it because it's not proper and should not disturb others in between to get up and walk out. So now please put your left hand towards me like this. And with the right hand we nourish our centers. So first we put it on our heart. In the heart, in the heart resides the spirit, is reflected in the spirit. Spirit is the reflection of God Almighty and Kundalini is the reflection of the primordial power, His desire, which we call as Adi Shakti or we call it as Holy Ghost. These two have to meet and the seat of the Spirit is on the fontanel bone area here. The seat of the Spirit is here, but it resides in our heart. Now. So first we put our right hand on our heart and then we put our right hand in the upper portion of our abdomen where is the center of our mastery. This is created by all the great masters like Abraham, Moses, Lao Tse, so many of them who were real masters, they have created this, like Guru Nanaka, Janaka, all these people have created this great center within us. Then we take down our hand in the lower portion of our abdomen on the left hand side. This is the center of pure knowledge. Pure knowledge, that is the one which gives us uh, the awareness on our central nervous system. It manifests a new dimension in our awareness on our central nervous system, which is called in Sanskrit as Bodh, Bodh, from where the word Buddha has come. Or we can say it manifests uh, in, the, in the word Veda, Veda is from where the word Vedas have come. That you feel uh, the divine power on your central nervous system. You feel the truth on your central nervous system because whatever we have gained in our evolution, you feel it on our central nervous system. That is what is to know. Knowledge is not mental. It is in our evolutionary process to know on your central nervous system like hot and cold. So now, this is the center which manifests that pure knowledge. So now we take our hand again upward and put it on the center of uh, mastery, which is on the left-hand side in the upper part of our abdomen. Then we take our hand into the 
onto our heart, onto our heart. And here we know that Spirit resides here. Then we take our hand in the corner of our neck and our shoulder here and put it back as far as possible and turn our head to our right. We turn our head to our right. This is the center which, as I have told you, is always in trouble when we feel guilty. And today also I feel it's quite a lot among the people who are here. So now, please remember not to feel guilty at all. Turn your head to your right and just not to feel guilty is very important. Now then we put our hand across like this on our forehead and pressing on both the temples with our small finger and our, our thumb on the other side. We put all the other fingers on the head and put down our head like this. This is the center. This is the center for forgiving others, to forgive everyone. Now we take back this hand on the back side of our head, on the optic lobe here, on the back side of our head, and push back our head as far back as possible, resting on our hand, and here is the center, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, to ask for forgiveness from the Divine Power. Now, then we stretch our hand, stretch our hand, and the center of our palm, we put it on the fontanel bone area, which was the soft bone in our childhood. Now we put down your head, put down our head and press this area nicely by pushing our fingers outward. This is a very important thing to do, is to push back your fingers outward so there's a nice pressure on your fontanel bone area. Now here is the limbic area, the opening of the limbic area is the fontanel bone area. So now what we do is to now slowly move our hand clockwise, pressing the scalp, move the scalp clockwise seven times, push down your head, it's better that you can do it better. Move it seven times clockwise. <laughs> now, I think everything was done all right, but we didn't push back the fingers nicely and the pressure was less, but doesn't matter now. So, <clears throat> you have been already told what is to be done. Uh, now, please again see that you put both your feet away from each other because there are two different powers. Put your left hand towards me, put your right hand on your head. No, I, not like that. You can sit, I mean, you can sit cross legged. Cross legged is better, it's all right. For sitting down, this cross legged is better. I'm just telling for people who are sitting on the chairs. Just imagine people getting realization sitting on chairs is something great, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, we had to go to Himalayas and starve for so many days, work so hard, stand on your heads and still come back empty-handed. <laughs> you are specially blessed to be born in this era. All right. So now we put our left hand towards me, right hand on the heart, and now we close our eyes. We don't open our eyes till I tell you. Please keep your eyes shut till I tell you. Now, the whole thing works like a divine computer, so you have to ask a question. You can call me Mother or you can call me Sri Mataji, whatever you like. Now, put your right hand on your heart and left hand towards me all the time. And now sit comfortably, not bending too much, nor in a uh, stretched manner, but in a comfortable, straight way, 
Here now, you ask a question three times. Mother, am I the Spirit? This is the truth about you, that you are the Spirit. So now ask the question three times in your heart, Mother, am I the Spirit? Now, if you are the Spirit, then you are your Master. So now take your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen and ask a question. Mother, am I my own Master? Ask this question three times. Now I have to tell you that I cannot force pure knowledge on you. You have to ask for it. So now please take your hand in the lower portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. Here you have to say six times because this center has got six petals. So please say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. Say this six times, because I cannot force on you. You have to ask in your freedom. I respect it. As soon as you ask for pure knowledge, the Kundalini starts rising. So we have to nourish the upper centers so that it's easy for her to rise. So now take your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. And press it hard. Here you have to say with full confidence ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Say it with full confidence in yourself. Ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Now, raise your right hand on your heart. I have already told you that Spirit resides in your heart. So now here you say with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. We have to know this all-pervading power which has created us, which is nourishing us, which is looking after us, which organizes us and which loves us, is the ocean 
of knowledge and compassion. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness, and we cannot commit any mistakes that cannot be dissolved by the power of this ocean of forgiveness. So now, please raise your hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and push it back as far as possible on the spinal cord and turn your head to your right. And here, with full confidence, please say sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say it sixteen times, from your heart, please say it. I have already told you that whether you forgive or don't forgive, you do not do anything, it's a myth. But if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands and torture yourself for nothing at all. So now, please raise your right hand on your forehead across, pressing both the temples with your small finger and your thumb and putting all the three fingers on top of your head. And now, put it down your head properly. Press it hard on both the sides. And here, you have to say from your heart, not how many times, Mother, I forgive everyone. From your heart, please say, Mother, I forgive everyone. Please do not say that it is difficult. It's the easiest thing to say. Put down your head properly, press it hard and say it from your heart. Now, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, you have to ask forgiveness from the Divine Power. So now take your right hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as far as possible on the hand balancing. Now here you have to say again from your heart not how many times. O oh, Divine Power, if I have done anything wrong, knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive me. This is to be said for your own satisfaction. Push back your head as much as possible. Now, The last center, which is most important. Stretch your palm as far as possible. Put it on, put the center of your palm on top of the fontanel bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. Now, put down your head as far as, as much as you can. Please put it down. Now, stretch your fingers. Please stretch them properly. And put a nice pressure on your fontanel bone area. Here again, I respect your freedom and I cannot force self-realization on you. You have to ask for it. So now, please, Move your scalp slowly, seven times, clockwise, saying, Mother, please give me my Self-realization.
Now, please take down your hands, both the hands, and please place them towards me and gradually open your eyes. Now, watch me without thinking. Now, please put your left hand towards me. Bend your head and see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your head. Please see with your right hand. Some people get it very close and some far away. But don't put your hand on top of your head. But just see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your head. Now, please put your right hand towards you and bend your head again. And see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your head. Some people get it quite far away. No, please put again your left hand towards me. <coughs> and see for yourself. Again, if there's a cold breeze coming out of your head. Now, raise both your hands towards the sky like this. Push back your head and ask the question, Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Or, Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love? Or, Mother, is this the Parama Chaitanya? Any one of these questions you ask three times. You feel very relaxed. And there won't be any thought. You can watch me without thinking. All those who have felt cool or hot breeze on their hands, on their fingertips, or out of their head, please raise both your hands. That's it. May God bless. I I'm here only for tonight, and I would like to meet you all. If you want to meet me, I'd like to shake hands with you. Thank you. Hopefully everyone is still in a state of meditation. We can uh, 
of course share what we feel, what we have any sensation, any question, any impression, that would be nice. And also we can absorb the beauty of uh, the Canadian fall. Hello, good evening. Good everybody evening. Is, hope everybody is well. Uh, this is the first time that I that I saw it, but I, I know that I've seen this before, but it's the first time, like, I don't know, that it's dawned on me that this, the way Sri Mataji had us put our fingers on the uh, the thumb and the little finger. Um, yeah, on this the is exactly what, this is what we announced, I think, on Tuesday, that at some point, because we, we have... Um, <clears throat> the um, this session with Shimata in Vancouver is a bit long, um, so we have seen it in totality this week. Uh, the uh. Tuesday class, at uh, the Wednesday class, we had uh, questions and answers, the very very important questions and answers with Shimata And now we had the self realization, and we announced that we will see. Uh, you are right, uh, Helen. Um, I haven't seen that before as well so it's very interesting Shimata just using yeah. the normal way that we are all doing it in other in other um talks of hers in other lectures but this is a bit different and uh but have you seen um i think that Shimata G explained so well everything um, yes yes i yeah. really love this um uh, self-realization with Shimata G was so loving and so caring and so forceful and strong it's just amazing yeah yeah this is the reason why we recorded all these three sessions so we will uh, place them on our share video youtube channel and of course you can we will share but i'm saying that you can jump the you know meditation introduction whatever we have and you can just uh, uh, watch those parts of the talk and we will share also with the yogis. We know that um, there are some fans of ours, yogis from around the world. So we wanted to share the beauty of the Canadian fall that Shimata Ji loved. And actually in another uh, talk that we'll share, I think was in England, Shimata Ji was saying that she loves maple leaves. She absolutely loves, she used this word that I love maple leaves. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll share that one because that one is amazing about how Shimata Ji explains Kundalini. So we have a few surprises. And this is also from our um, we had a cool kids uh, class out, outdoors at Cropper Lake. It was just amazing that uh, full day of togetherness, actually, we meditated, we were, we walk around, we play with the kids. Uh, we gave vibrations there to the lake, to the, to, oh my God, they were so, the kids really, really took it to their heart. And it was a beautiful, beautiful day. And of course, by in the evening, we had, uh, we were pampered by uh, um, Mama Carmela, as we call our dear, dear Carmela. She prepared dinner for us and we had just a, a blast of Sahaj togetherness <laughs> at its best. <laughs> very spontaneously arranged. Everything is always very spontaneous with us. Thank you. Anyone else that would like to share anything that you felt? Did you feel the cool breeze? What do you feel from these images? I don't know what you feel, but uh, honestly, <laughs> thank you, Anjali. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I felt coolness in my heart. Absolutely. And somehow all this uh, fall, the fall colors go so well with the colors of this um, subtle system with, uh, you know, uh, sh shown here, even almost like, like uh, 
colored um, leaves and actually there are all the divine principles in every chakra so uh, everything comes together and there are so many beautiful beautiful ways uh, um, lately uh, some creative ways in Burlington so I've seen that they started to paint all these um, I don't even know I think that there are mailboxes and they were so cute <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I have a question. Uh, yes. I just wanted to know that, uh, say, if I'm outdoors, at, I'm outdoors in the sense, you know, somewhere um, outside, and I uh, have to do, I feel like doing meditation, then uh, what's the, is, I mean, is it a must that I have to do the bandhan in the beginning? Because, you know, if there are people around, then... Um, it's no, it's no must. Don't even worry about it. Don't, don't even worry about it. And always, um, it's so important for you to, to, to listen to your own guru, <laughs> what tells you. So absolutely use your uh, discretion, your discernment. We don't need to do the bandan in front of others. Of course, like we would, we, we it was amazing when we were with the kids, we did the bandan, but everybody, and we there were there were people around, but I think that we made quite an interesting group, you know. They I know when we we were leaving, some were looking quite admiratively at how we we were with the kids and meditating, and we even said mantras, but not in a weird way. Everything it was very dignified. So at that time we felt that it makes sense because we were on uh, uh, native Indian indigenous land and the vibrations were so strong so you have to go with the flow uh, otherwise we would not do the bandana of course you can be very simple just sit there so no no worries don't miss any opportunity to meditate <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, because, you know, when you're outside, especially in nature, or even you have some time and you're waiting or something, it always, like, I always feel like uh, going into meditation. So I just wanted to confirm because, you know, the bandhan is for protection. So is that's why I asked if it is okay to do the meditation without the protection. And yeah. The protection thank you, thank you. is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking and for sharing. Anyone that wants to share any Sahaj experience? For me, it's like, look how many hearts are like on the strings, you see? <laughs> So last call, if anyone would like to share anything. Uh, I just want to share an experience. Yes, please. And because it has been a while, I, you know, <laughs> attended the collective meditation. Uh, so um, uh, so um, one of the sessions that I had attended, um, uh, I don't know who conducted, I don't remember, but uh, it was about, um, and also I think Mataji also talked about it. It is about uh, wearing the kumkum on the forehead where mm -hmm. the agya is. Mm -hmm. And uh, for past uh, week or so, I was kind of experiencing this, you know, tightness in my head or a headache, light headache and things like that and some vision issues. So uh, what I did was, uh, uh, it was not possible for me to put the, the you know, the kumkum in, uh, during the daytime. So uh, as instructed in one of the sessions, I started doing it uh, during night. Uh, so I would end the day with the uh, meditation and then I'll, uh, with the, you know, kumkum. And I see that um, it is helping me a lot when I wake up. It's, I feel more relaxed and uh, my head is pretty light. And you know, <laughs> uh, so I thought I'll just share it. Um, it is one of the things that I remember Mataji also mentioned, how it affects, how it helps. Yes. The as well. Yes. 
No, thank you for sharing. And actually, when we have seminars, we use Kumkum as well. Even at the class, uh, I know in Burlington, we've done several times. Um, in Oakville, not because we have shorter classes in Oakville, but in Burlington, we had the luxury of uh, two hours. So we had also kind of an advanced after eight and uh, we, we had seminars there. And uh, even people that came for the first time, we just explained what it is and we just told them, you know, just give it a try, see what you feel, if it's cooling you. And uh, I think we have photographs on the website because people were really even allowing themselves to be in a photo shoot. <laughs> and um, it was such a cool experience for everyone. So that absolutely works. It's guaranteed. And also we are using, uh, you know, when we do the mixture, we use vibrated water. That's another recommendation. Yeah. But thank and you. And also when I was... Nice. Yeah, I was also um, having some issue with my eyes and I was doing the uh, meditation in front of Mataji. And then I, when I opened my eyes, I, I felt such a coolness in my eyes um, and I was not aware like what's happening. That was some new experience. So um, it really helped me a lot. So. And I'm very happy to hear because I remember you when you started, you, I think that was the main uh, issue, you know, the agya, I mean, you felt uh, a heaviness, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's great. I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. Absolutely. And right now, if you, if you feel it's really cool, agya is very cool. Actually, I'm also feeling uh, light coolness right now. <laughs> <laughs> you and, see? <laughs> uh, although I'm not attending uh, the uh, collective meditation regularly, but I'm doing my... Nobody's uh, counting, so you don't need to yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we but, are enjoying uh, I ourselves. Really, <laughs> yeah, whenever I attend, I do get some something new. I always get some message or something that I can carry forward and use it in my life. Of course, of course. And it's always... Uh, you are always welcome like everyone else. And we just offer this uh, because we enjoy them in the first place. And whenever, and that's why we try to offer morning. We even said at some point, do we really have to have every day or it's not a have to, but some for some people it's so important. And um, that's why we keep uh, even going deeper in the morning um, at 6.30 for those that really want to go deeper. So, uh, and to start the day, um, but then we listen more to Shimadaji, and honestly, that's what uh, those of us who really love, uh, get to love Sahaja Yoga, we really love to listen to Shimadaji, and also to, um, you know, it's, it's interesting, sometimes we just open the mantra book, and we we cater towards what is needed that day to clear certain chakras. And it's always very powerful when it's collective and sponta spontaneous in the same time. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Oh, by the way, uh, this Sunday, for those of you that attend, um, you know, it's Halloween. Uh, so we will not have at 5 p.m. the evening um, meditation because some of us will have a get together and uh, we will meditate and we'll have different things at evening. Uh, so we'll not have online meditation at 5 p.m., but we'll have a special one tomorrow morning. Uh, we will focus more on Canada. Um, so if anyone would like to join, tomorrow is um, the, with the same link at um, 8 a.m. We have a going deeper. And Saturday also 8 a.m., but with another link. So thank you so much. The last, very last call, if anyone else would like to share anything or to say anything. And can I ask um, Anjali, if you are still here, or anyone else to share a link or something as a homework? Would be nice. Oh, Kapita, we are missing your, your comments on, online. I remember um, your feedback was really nice. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you have that bindi, um, the bindi experience that your mom had, Anjali, that would be 
um, a nice one to share. And maybe Kavita, if she feels she can add her own experience as a comment, that would be cool for our readers. Sure, I will do that. Yeah. Thank you. Joanna, just to be clear, there'll be two sessions tomorrow and one on Sunday. Sunday True. morning. That's Perfect. Right. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Thank you. you, as okay. always, you totally get exactly what, through my many <laughs> words, you know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you're precious. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Angeli had to leave. So I don't know who I should ask. Aldo, can I ask you who I can ask who is more? Or Yolanta, who has um, sure, yeah. Which which article do you want? If you search for Bindi, I think it's uh, Anjali Bindi something or anything you want. You know what? Anything you want. I'm not picky. Anything. I'm I'm grateful. Well, I, I just typed in bin, Bindi. How do you spell Bindi? Is it B I N D I or? That's it. That's it. Oh. Yes. Nothing comes up. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, sun, Agnia, anything you want with Ag Agnia would be great. Agnia Chuck. Uh, okay, there, there, there is one. Srimataji's Bindi, like bright golden sun. Gandhi. That's story. perfect. That's that, Karuna's experience, I think. That's, uh, I really recommend to all of you too. That's, okay. that's really sweet, actually. Okay. Thank you. Me... You found it. <laughs> yeah. uh, chat. Uh, paste. Okay. Um, enter. Here we go. Thank you. Perfect. So everyone, you can just click on this link and uh, read. And if by the end you can write, the, um, if you write, it would be great. And I, um, Ajay, I will send you the link on WhatsApp. That's easier for me right now yeah. for the going deeper. Absolutely. If you leave me, perfect. So have a lovely, lovely uh, evening with your family and um, write a comment if you want. All the best. And some of you might join us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.